Hey guys, welcome to lesson five, what is consciousness? So by now, just a quick check or quick recap. By now you've explored presence, you've recognized I exist, I am. So the person identity of I am this, I'm this body inside of a world, it has already started to shift. It has already started to open up its window. Consciousness has started to expand itself to become aware of the fact that it is, that it is in fact existence, that it is present and presence. So you've discovered that, which is crucial, it's key, that is basically enlightenment. And then you've also explored some of presence's essential truths. And it's really when you recognize the truths that are present in presence, that it starts to liberate you, that it starts to make you feel happier and lighter and more joyful. So two key elements that you've explored, two key truths, and I wish to just briefly reemphasize is the fact that everything else shares in this presence as well. So it's not just your personal bubble of I exist. In fact, it's beyond the personal bubble. The personal bubble would be I am this. The essence of your being is simply beingness. It is the I am, it's the I exist. So you recognize that, but you've also recognized that it doesn't only belong to you or a particular location. You've explored the idea of sensing presence in objects, in appearances. And you've also explored the real sense that presence never changes, which is also crucial because it allows you to rely for the first time ever to rely on something that doesn't change in this world of so many changes and so many rapid accelerated changes. You now have the stability of presence consciousness, of presence energy, of the sense of I am. You can always rely on that, fall back on that. If anything, you can rely on I am, I exist. And so in the next lesson, lesson five, this lesson, we will explore or tap into a little bit what the consciousness aspect of consciousness, of presence consciousness is. Because um, this sort of is more later on material. It's uh, addressed more fully in the awareness courses, in the, um, in the second course of the enlightenment teaching, where presence wakes up to awareness. But I just want to give you a small glimpse of this because it is such a, such a key component and it's such a uh, often used word throughout this first course. So I just want to give at least some brief explanation of what consciousness refers to. So if you join me right now and just relax your mind and body for two to five seconds, just take a deep breath and re relax and joy into the sense of being able to relax your thoughts, being able to give them away, being able to disown your worries and concerns. And just bask in this moment for a second. Notice the presence that's here. And so now that you notice the presence that's here, you can make an additional shift. That additional shift would be to notice that you're noticing presence. To notice that not only is there a sense of presence energy, but there is an awareness, which is what you are. You are awareness, aware of presence energy. So while you're relaxing your mind and you're recognizing presence energy, simply take it in a sense one step further back, you could say. So we go from the person to the sense of, oh, expanded presence. And then we go from the clarity of the here and now presence to recognizing that there is something about us not so much about us. We discover it is who we are, what we are. But there is something about us that is actually observing or that's aware of the sense of presence. So it's almost like suddenly you turn your attention 180 degrees back into yourself and you start noticing a very free sense of awareness itself. Just awareness. It doesn't even have to be aware of presence energy. It can simply be aware of being aware. Are you aware? The answer will always be yes. You can ask this to anyone. Of course, don't be too annoying, but you can ask this to anyone. Are you aware? And I'll have to pause for a second and notice that yes. Yes, I am aware. 10 seconds later, you can hypothetically ask the same question again, and they would have to respond again with yes, I am aware. So awareness and presence, or consciousness and presence, share the same 
fundamental truths. Many of the truths that we explore, many of the qualities that are present and present, such as always and already, and omnipresence, are also present in the recognition of awareness. But so consciousness in the word presence consciousness refers, and I'll just give you a little overview, refers to awareness being collapsed around presence energy. We can imagine for a second or for a minute um, infinity or endlessness, endless vastness with no reference point whatsoever, just one infinity. There's no two, there's no reference point, there's just one vast infinity. You can imagine it as a blackness or as space, but without the planets and the stars. Just get a sense of that, however close you can get to that sense. And now imagine that this is the one, the infinite one creator of all of creation. And let's say that out of this infinity, it suddenly creates, in a sense, a big bang, a big explosion. Out of love, out of the love of wanting to know and taste and experience itself and express itself in form, in experienceable form, because vastness cannot really be experienced by itself. It needs aids, it needs reference points, it needs awareness. And so in order for the one to be able to experience itself, it creates this explosion of bliss love, this unconditional field of love. This is what we notice as presence. Presence really is that energy, that love energy, that unconditional love presence energy that constitutes, that is the essence, the substratum of all other forms. And so it became aware of itself through this contrast. It became aware of itself and it started to be able to experience its own expression. And so when this awareness, if we just imagine awareness as being, as being this infinity, as being this vastness, but with the capacity to be aware. So it's basically like an endless infinite space that is aware. Now, if you induce into that space, the field, the sphere, the expression that we call presence energy or all of creation, then what happens is that awareness collapses itself like gravity around a planet. It collapses itself, it forms itself, it's drawn to what appears. Because suddenly in its vast space of awareness, something appears. And so in a sense, around that appearance is formed this field of consciousness. So what is then the difference between awareness and consciousness? It's just a difference in words. The quality, the, the essence of consciousness is the same, that is awareness. The essence of consciousness is awareness. However, I use these different terms because consciousness refers to awareness in some kind of subject-object relationship, whereas awareness refers to awareness just as awareness, free, no reference point, not even the focal point of presence, energy, not even the focal point of the individual. It's just awareness, aware of awareness. And so when I use the word consciousness, it most often refers to some kind of subject-object relationship that awareness is having with itself, with its own creation. For example, when awareness collapses itself around presence energy, it becomes presence consciousness or aware of presence, therefore presence consciousness, because there is a subject-object relationship. There's consciousness being conscious of presence. And so the I am is where I, which is awareness, the true identity, the true free agent that is able to be aware and move around in a sense, move around, be infinitely free. I becomes I am when it collapses itself around the sense of presence. When it collapses itself into like the sort of distorted sense or the limited sense of being a separate individual, it becomes this feeling, awareness generates this core feeling, core identity feeling of I am this. I'm the body, I'm the mind. So really that's the overview, just very briefly. I explain a little bit more in the text and later on we'll actually like dive deeper into this in like the second course of the enlightenment teaching. We'll explore this, we'll experience this, we'll untangle these ideas and make them experiential. For now, all you need to know is that consciousness can be recognized as sort of the cognizance aspect that you notice, the clarity, the vividness aspect, the uh, lucidity aspect that you notice when you relax your thoughts for two to five seconds. <sighs> Come into presence, which you already were, but you notice that you're here in presence. And then you notice a lucidity aspect, like a, a clarity, a consciousness, an awareness. That can be noticed as consciousness. We can call that consciousness. And so the word consciousness refers to awareness, aware of presence.